is Marv De Leon again for another episode of uh, Ask Marv for the Freelance Blend podcast. And today, we're answering questions that were sent by our listeners and subscribers of FreelanceBlend.com. But before that, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Golands. Okay, thanks again, Golands. Now we'll go straight to our first question. Let me just open my um, Evernote. Okay, medyo mahaba to na maraming follow-up questions. So what niche should I choose? Is it enough to know the basics in computer to enroll in web design? What is WordPress? What is QuickBooks? Can I use QuickBooks or WordPress even if I'm not online? If in the future, while doing a data entry or transcri transcription jobs, if given a chance to be hired, do I need to be online while doing those jobs? Okay, talagang, talagang pinuno niya yung, uh, yung question niya, talagang sinulit niya yung uh, pagtanong sa atin. But that's fine. Uh, that's also a good set of questions. So number one, what niche should I choose? Is it enough to know the basics in computer enroll in, to enroll in web, web design? So it thinks it, it seems that you're thinking about web design as a niche. Uh, Siyempre, what niche should I choose? I can't answer that. Ikaw makakasagot yan. Uh, is it enough to know the basics in computer enroll in web design? I think so. Um, hindi naman uh, with web design. Ako, I, I do web design. Hindi naman ko talaga nag-aaral uh, ng web design, although may alam akong konti ng HTML. Uh, what is WordPress? What is QuickBooks? So that's WordPress is a CMS platform. It's a content management system platform. So it allows you to create para siyang blogging platform. Uh, meron dyan Blogspot or Blogger. Merong Weebly. Merong Wix. So yun mga blogging platforms. WordPress is also a blogging platform. So I think you just need to know um, WordPress uh, since ito rin naman yung isa sa mga popular um, CMS out there. Uh, in fact, we had a WordPress Blogging Basics course before and I'll, op I'll be opening, opening it again soon. Uh, and I'll let you know pag open yun. But for now, yun nga. Uh, well, kung gusto mo mag-take ng basics in computer, better then para you know uh, more than others who, who just know, let's say, WordPress. Uh, QuickBooks is, this is, um, actually, hindi ko alam to. Akala, ang akala ko sa question na yun, fresh books, iba pala yung fresh. I don't know QuickBooks. I won't be able to answer. Can I use WordPress or QuickBooks even if I'm not online? Hindi. So WordPress is is uh, a software as a service. So ayun yung tinatawag nilang SaaS, which is yung mga software na kailangan online ka para magamit mo siya, na wala kang ino-install na software para patakbuhin siya. So ganun ang WordPress is a software as a service para siyang Gmail. So dati, you need to download an email app, an email app tapos uh, nakalimutan ko nga ano tawag sa email app na yun. Kung, kung naalala nyo, let me know nga. Matagal-tagal na. Pero biglang lumabas si Hotmail, lumabas si Gmail. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-download mag -download ng software. E ngayon, um, ang dami na rin software as service for design like Canva, uh, yung mga email marketing tools like MailChimp, etc., etc. Social media, is everything is online. So, uh, so for WordPress, ganun din. It's a, it's a software as a service. Uh, you need to be online to, to be able to use it and to be able to design websites. So your next question, ha, niya, if in the future while doing a data entry or transcription jobs, if given a chance to be hired, do I need to be online while doing those jobs? Okay, so siguro depende sa data entry. Kung Excel na data entry yan, or PDF or Word, then hindi. Uh, maybe you just need to submit it to your client. You need to be online. Uh, transcription jobs, I haven't done trans transcription jobs. Pero I guess ganun din yun. Uh, you need to be online, of course, to get yung mga 
yung mga files, pero to translate it, um, if you download it sa computer mo, you just need to listen to it uh, offline and then type the transcription in a Word document, siguro. So, uh, I can say sa mga question mo, mukhang mahina ang internet sa inyo or uh, wala kang internet connection, maybe wala sa area mo, so uh, baka kaya yung line of question mo, questioning mo is you need to be online. Now, one more thing. If you're working through Upwork uh, or onlinejobs.ph or freelancer.com tapos yung client wants to get, get screenshots yung, yung while you're working, kumbaga your monitor ka uh, para malaman na totoo ang trabaho ka and kukunan ka ng screenshots of you doing your work, then you will need to be online. So think about Think about that kasi nga um, baka mahirapan ka rin kumuha ng trabaho initially kung hindi ka online. So unless nga you work outside the platform tapos usapan nyo sa client na you'll just deliver the, the yung mga output at let's say at the end of the day. So gagawin mo, gagawin mo siya sa the rest of the day and then sa, at the end of the day, doon ka lang connect sa internet. Pero yun nga, kung if you are being monitored by your client, then yun yung problema. You need to be online. Okay, I hope I was able to answer your question. Okay, meron tayong break kasi dumaan na naman yung aeroplano. Medyo busy yata ang airport ngayon. <laughs> As you notice, nakatira ako malapit sa airport. Okay, second and last question. What are the are the techniques for the clients to be attracted to hire you? What are the techniques for the clients to be attracted to hire you? Technique. Um, so definitely, for them to be attracted to you, uh, especially this online work, the first encounter that they have of you is online then, which is it can be your profile, uh, it can be your website, so, yun yung unang ways for them to get attracted to you. Uh, meaning, kung ano yung nasa profile nyo, tugma sa kailangan ng client. So, definitely, you have to have uh, a very um, magandang, um, magandang description sa iyong, sa iyong profile if you're working through Upwork. Uh, you have to really... Uh, make it a point na yung, yung kung ano yung skills and strengths nyo uh, are highlighted sa yung profile. So that's how you attract a client. And uh, secondly, if they see uh, your profile tapos hindi ka professional, then most likely comparing you to others, baka hindi ka mapili. So you have to have in terms of uh, yung profile picture, you have to look professional. Definitely, dapat may picture ka uh, sa iyong profile kasi, again, that's how clients judge you. This is not applying sa sa face-to-face sa -face, uh, isang kumpanya na nakikita ka uh, as a person face-to-face -face in in uh, yung buong pagkatao mo nakikita, nakakausap. So, online hindi. So, uh, yung profile, uh, better if you have your own website. Kasi uh, sa profile, very limited. A uh, certain number of characters lang in, in those uh, freelance marketplaces like Upwork, Freelancer, Online Jobs. Um, so, if you want clients, if you have more to say, uh, like you have other... Um, yung portfolio nyo, gusto nyo i-share, then if you have a website, then that's another way to attract uh, your potential clients. Uh, kasi nga, may kita nila na, oh, mas professional to compared sa isang freelancer na wala namang, wala namang website. Another um, way is, another way to attract is a social media profile. So, ganun din, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you have to have those uh, optimized and also yung profile picture nyo should reflect a professional 
um, person, a professional freelancer. Even Facebook, as we know, is a social media. But now, uh, more and more clients and employers are searching for you online through Facebook. So, gusto nila malaman ang pagkatao mo, gusto nila malaman if madalas ka ba mag if magiging problema, problematic uh, freelancer or employee ka ba in the future. So, make sure di, pagandahin nyo na rin yung Facebook and other social profiles. So, so yeah. Uh, again, yung uh, how to attract clients is to have uh, a very um, professional profile in the marketplaces, in uh, your own website, and social media. Okay, before we go, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Golands. Okay, thank you again, Golands. Now, uh, before I go, I'd like to invite you to our upcoming meetup on August 26, Saturday, 4 to 7 p.m. at Union Bank. Uh, plaza in Ortigas, just go to freelanceblend.com slash meetup August 2017 to sign up uh, and register for our, uh, maybe our last meetup for the year. Okay, thanks again for watching and listening and peace to everyone. Bye!